So I've been working in sustainability for only around 15 months. Um, I transitioned into it from a long career in risk, political risk particularly, and intelligence and investigations, working a lot with the extractives industry. So that is um, based on solving a lot of problems like corruption and who you're doing business with, but is far less explicitly values driven than the sustainability world. So it has been interesting to approach what are essentially the same problems around how you can do business responsibly, how you can have better relationships, how you can build a social license to operate, how you can manage political risk, but from a much more values-driven dimension. Um, and I think a lot of the tools have proved highly relevant, and I think one of the key challenges, probably the key challenge in sustainability is about building organisational change and organisational support for what is a values driven argument and we are suffering uh, globally I think at the moment from this problem that we separate business and ethics. We say this is just a business problem implying it has no ethical dimension whereas everything in fact has an ethical dimension. So um, I think there is a need to be practical to try and solve ethical problems and commercial problems at the same time. And I think you have to think about that in a very practical way. It is um, very often regarded as being retrogressive to teach sustainability, to think about sustainability in terms of risk. But I think if you look at sustainability from an organizational change perspective, so building the case commercially, building the case with the general counsel, building the case with the C-suite, then these kind of more basic tools can be really, really powerful. And I think the ultimate goal of anyone that works in sustainability should be to manage themselves out of a job so that sustainability is no longer a separate function, but it is just something that the business does automatically throughout its operations. So um, the more you can talk the language of those other departments and think about this in terms of organizational change and group dynamics and how companies work, the more powerful your sustainability solutions will be. I think if you think about sustainability teams um, from an organizational perspective, they tend to be isolated, they are struggling for credibility with the finance teams, with the engineers, with the legal teams, with the people that think about risk. They suffer from what my boss calls the tyranny of the anecdote. Um, they are a certain sort of person, they get pigeonholed, and they don't have nearly as much power as they should do. Well, the solution is for sustainability people to think about themselves as change agents and to morph themselves and speak the language that they need to speak to the people that they need to speak it to to get the organization behind what they're saying so um, i don't necessarily mean a, an obsessive focus on building the business case though that's helpful but having a little bit more confidence and rigor and being able to frame their work in terms of risk and in terms of commercial benefit and make the case is for all the very successful sustainability people I've ever spoken to, they say that is what made the difference.